good evening to all in this session we are going to learn nick teaming nick teaming is a features of windows server and uh, this feature allow you to increase the network bandwidth why because it's enable to make it group of different NIC port multiple NIC port if you have multiple NIC port in your physical server and you can make it group those all NIC adapters and make it logical production environment okay so like example I would show you suppose this is your physical server and having a different NIC port like 3 or 4 NIC adapter okay and each and every adapter as you know there is a 1 Gbps speed right it keeps 1 Gbps speed 1 Gbps 1 Gbps each and every NIC adapter keep 1 Gbps speed so NIC teaming features enable and so I want to configure to make a group of these all physical adapter and make it a logical production environment network port okay so here what will be the speed as of now here after making a group uh, that production environment speed will become 4 Gbps 4 Gbps ok so question is why required this and where required so first uh, uh, requirement if you say this uh, if by default whether you uh, make it group or not by default any physical server if you buy any physical server Dell IBM or any module you will get different physical NIC port by default in case of mine here what I am going to explain on virtual machine uh, like VMware workstation virtual machine windows server platform and here we don't have multiple physical environments so I can uh, show you practically here to uh, insert uh, like uh, import physical uh, logical means virtual uh, network adapter uh, how many you want you can import if you are practicing on your laptop or desktop on uh, VMware workstation so same uh, like you can practice but real time if you talk about real time so you uh, cannot import in real time uh, real time by default this physical uh, network interface adapter will be and after the procedure what I am going to do is the same procedure you have to follow over there okay so what is uh, where we use actually uh, we uh, use um, normally we use in cloud environment data center because in cloud environment you have to access your data from data center and uh, required to uh, required fast bandwidth uh, uh, for uploading the file and downloading the files okay so in that case we need high speed bandwidth so this is the feature uh, will allow you to make it high speed bandwidth for your server okay so that can be uh, done in physical server or logical server anywhere okay so let me show you practically uh, I am going to show you on Windows uh, Windows Server on uh, VMware Workstation platform so here uh, this is my Windows Server and I have opened dashboard server manager ok and here just you go local server and you can see nick teaming features here it is disabled right now and before that I would like to open a network interface adapter and let's see how many adapter right now you are having so by default you can see one adapter will be the speed of this adapter will be 1 Gbps by default right so in case of mine I don't have 
physical server right now this is i am using a win a vmware workstation and windows server this and uh, what i will do i will import a virtual network adapter in case of uh, real environment this procedure you don't have to do what i am going to do right now why because by default will be okay let me uh, do that then i will explain you here just how to if he, you are uh, practicing the same environment what i am doing in your laptop or desktop uh, so you have to follow same like okay because once you understand the concept you can do in real environment as well so you can see here right click and setting you have to go what i am doing now i am i am importing logical means virtual network adapter okay so network adapter and add select the network adapter next and select the bridge and again and next add network adapter next bridge hmm. okay one more so total four network interface adapter we need to have okay here that's all and click on okay so now you can see there are four network adapter and each and every adapter you can see one gbps speed it takes some time because uh, not one four or uh, three more network interface adapter i have inserted at a time so taking time to initialize this now you can see not one not two it's four why because we have inserted three by default it was on it ethernet zero now you can see ethernet one two three four okay so each and every speed would like to check here just you right click and status and you can see one gbps for this is enable how it disable actually okay so let me check this one status yeah one gbps so each and every will be one gbps okay by default and now i am going to make a knitting so guys as of now what i did you don't have to do in real production uh, real environment okay because uh, in real environment if you have a physical server just you open network adapter like this you will get by default you don't have to import at all okay um, so you will get it at this stage and after that what you have to do the same thing what i am going to show you same thing you have to do in real environment as well okay and you have to decide here how many uh, network adapter you want to make a team like if you want to make it if you have two network right in same server so you can make it two as a one group and two as a one group but here i am going to make only one group so these four i will make it one right production environment so what to do it's procedure see just open server manager and click on local server and here you can see network interface uh, card teaming nic teaming just click on disable it will become enable and here the those all network interface adapter will be listed over here okay so what we need to do is just you hold the control key and select each and everyone okay all network interface 
and just right click on the selected area add to new team click on add to new team and simply you write here the name so just i'll write production land production prod network prod net okay and just click okay so now just is going to create a virtual production network okay which have 4 gbps speed on spot you can see practically here so let me open network adapter and see see imagine here you can see and would you like to check the speed right now so just you right click and status and it will have or oh, still it is okay not at any slice yet to initialize this okay so take some time right click status and yeah you can see now so guys you can see here 4 gbps speed now for this production environment uh, it's a very interesting features right and magic features for windows server environment means you have imagine uh, you have a physical nic port suppose need to understand uh, you have physical environment right you have physical environment here right one two three four nic port and we are making as a this group and it will become logical right so what happened you know any one of these fail no problem at all your services will be still continuing the speed will become reduce something like 3 gbps earlier it was 4 gbps now it will become 3 gbps that's all okay so interesting so question is where we use actually so especially we use for failover clustering this feature we use in failover because different node we have in failover and these are not uh, accessing quorum storage disk okay so which is a uh, quorum uh, which is priority server quorum will be along with that okay so very fast this quorum disk uh, replicating between these nodes so here also we need uh, high bandwidth otherwise we can use this in cloud environment data uploading and downloading okay wherever you want high bandwidth you can make it this nick teaming in windows server so don't think about in client window 10 or 11 no no this is only windows server features and it started from 2008 or 2 onwards okay so i hope you got understand about the nick teaming features and now just just you see uh, i will make it one uh, disable so means one nic port got failure then what is going to happen just you check now speed the speed will become uh, 3 gbps that's all okay so your work will not interrupt your work your services will be continuing network will be working fine a speed will be reduced that's all if two nic port got failure so that a speed will become 2 gbps that's all it's reduced okay so i hope you got understand about network teaming it's a very simple and very small uh, features in windows server environment right and interesting to increase improve your network environment okay so in this session that's all thank you so much